Happy New Year! So in Italy we have a saying, we say Anno Nuovo, Vita Nuova, which means New Year, New Life. But that is not true at all. I mean, life is only one. It's up to us to renew ourselves, to improve ourselves, ourselves, ourselves. Uh, Sometimes I miss uh, the end of the words, especially. My English is not my mother tongue, as you can tell. And uh, again, I'm Italian. The goal with this blog is to uh, talk more frequently about personal development. Originally, I started the channel with a desire to talk about per personal development, but then I got carried away um, talking about other passions of mine, especially soccer, and that became um, the main um, the main talking point, the subject that we talk about the most on the channel. And that is not why I started to create content on the channel. I'm having fun with it. I'm glad that I can bring more awareness around my hometown, La Spezia, more visibility around La Spezia, but that is not why I started the channel. And uh, so let's carry on. You know, uh, Italian football, the one that you actually play with your feet, you know, it's not American handball, we play soccer with your with, with your feet, and that's football, Italian football, so soccer. Joking aside, I started to talk a lot about that, there was, there is still a lot of engagement, I don't want to stop to talk about that, it's one of my greatest passions, but one of my main passions is improvement, is growth, is personal development, and that is why I started um, the YouTube channel. Originally, it was only a gathering place for all the content that I I would use myself to improve, to get inspired, to um, acquire new knowledge and new habits. And then some of these videos that I was um, creating, collecting into playlists, got um, delisted, got removed. So I was downloading them and re mm, reposting them myself on uh, my channel as if it were my content, which it wasn't. Um, and I noticed that uh, a certain following started to create around the channel, um, especially after I shared the Hebram Hicks uh, meditations, which then I had to remove for copyright issues, as, uh, uh, as, as it's right to do. But that being said, a following started to create around this content, and then I said, okay, maybe I can start to create my own content, sharing my experience, my knowledge, um, what I learned by... Uh, applying this knowledge because you know mm, knowledge is power but without application is simply entertainment so um, here we are the goal of this vlog is to um, uh, share as Jim Rohn says don't let a day go by get from each day so my goal would be to uh, share um, instead of doing as I've been doing up until now through the content that I've been creating. I created several playlists, a playlist for each book that I wanted to talk about, but it takes it's very time consuming for me to put together those kind of playlists. It's probably not the most digestible content. So I said, okay, let's do it daily um, as I'm going through, as I'm learning, you know, going as I'm sharing, as I'm learning, going as I'm learning. Um, I, that's the, the Microsoft philosophy. And um, so here we are. And on the base of um, some of my good habits, and I do not have only good habits like everybody else, um, I like another quote of Jim Rohn that, he said, that, that says, um, listen to me very closely, no, listen to me very carefully, but don't watch me too close. So just like everybody else, I am here trying to do my best to share uh, have fun while doing, mainly the goal is to have fun, never take myself too seriously and hopefully um, inspire, help others by sharing what uh, uh, I've been uh, learning and collecting like everybody else. So one of my most valuable habits that I acquired by uh, applying Jim's Run teaching is um, journaling. I started journaling in uh, 2012 as I was reading my very first personal development book which I have created a playlist about and you can find the playlist on the channel uh, the book by Jim Brown seven strategies for wealth and happiness and uh, I've been journaling since 2012 I do it daily if I skip a day I catch up uh, I take notes during the days now I have I am very methodic my wife tells me that I'm a robot so uh, I put things, um, I take notes throughout the days and then throughout the day and then at the end of the day I re reflect upon what happened because the goal is not to let a day go by but to get from each day. And now I would like to do that through a vlog um, so that I can share as I go, as I said earlier.
I normally start, I always start lately, I mean, since I started, I've always done it that way. Uh, I start my daily uh, journaling uh, with a quote that I put together, inspired by, uh, while I was reading, you know, by the content, by the knowledge shared by Les Brown. So the quote that I start my um, reflection, my daily reflection with is, by day and by night, I am prospering in all my interests. I am advancing, progressing, and getting healthier, happier, wiser, and wealthier every day. So that's how I start. I just want to drill it into my head. That's how I start the journal. I've been doing it like that for years. Then sometimes I, uh, I add something to it. For example, in the beginning it was only I'm getting healthier, happier, and wealthier every day. Then, this, since this is something that I repeat before each meal, I was saying it at a table with a friend, with one of my uh, mentors, my, 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 my uh, American father, let's say, and Jack told me, uh, wiser. Wiser is much more important than wealthier. So I added wiser in there. And uh, so, as you see, I pick uh, ideas from others. Uh, I pick, uh, I learn f as a sponge as much as I can from anybody I get in touch with. So... Um, and then the second step of my journaling, right before I start to reflect upon what happened, is um, write down, um, uh, not a synopsis, but uh, a few quotes that I get from Abraham Hicks cards. Um, Abraham Hicks teachings is something that we, and when I say we, I always talk about my wife and I uh, most of the time, um, open up to thanks to, to Jack, these um, great friends of ours. And today's card says, my experience is a clear indication of the thoughts I think. So everything starts with our thoughts. And um, then the, the cards proceed. If you say to yourself, I am the creator of my experience and I choose recovery at this time, you can recover. Sometimes it's very simple. Of course, you can if you say that, because if you think about doing something, then you actually do something. So that's why I thought about doing the vlog so that uh, the accountability partners that I find in the audience would help me to stay on track with my uh, habits, with my tasks, with my goals. And um, because I had a thought in my head, I applied it and there you go. Like the guy from the uh, my fat Greek wedding, my big fat Greek wedding. Every word starts from the Greek, well, whatever. And so there you go. Uh, there you go. <laughs> so, um, yes. If you say to yourself, I am, I am the creator of my experience and I choose recovery at this time, you can recover. So this is one of the cards that comes from uh, a deck uh, related to health. But we also, I have several cards. There are different decks mixed together. One is about health. One is about um, wealth. And one is about the wealthy one. The one about wealth was gifted to me by Becky, Jack's wife. And the other two, we bought ourselves. I, I don't remember. One is about health. And I think one is about just the law of attraction. So, And then he, continue by, he continues, the card continues by saying, These words are easily said by us and not so easily heard by those who do not believe in their power to create. But your experience always reflects the harmony of your thoughts. This is awesome. This is one of those things that I write down. So, my experience always reflects the harmony of my thoughts. If I am all messed up, if I'm all clogged up, I want to do this, I want to do that, I want to do this, I want to do that. While I'm doing something, I think about something else, then I get clogged up. So, that's why it's important to try to gain as much consciousness as possible and uh, silent silence and there goes the english challenge that i have but you know by listening to myself i get to improve too so thank you and um, by silencing by uh, relaxing our uh, chronic thinking then we can be more in the present and this is something that i learned by reading uh, the power of now by tolle for example we'll get to it so my experience always reflects the harmony of my thoughts so if we are in harmony within, we are in harmony without. Your experience is a clear indication of the thoughts that you think. When you change the thoughts you are thinking, your experience or indicator must change also. It is law. 
Yeah, because everything is also a matter of perception. And our perception is based on our thinking and our beliefs. And a belief is only a thought that we continue to think. And ones that are belief matches our desire, our desire must become our reality. These are Abraham Hicks words, they're not mine, but they're those uh, contents that I um, brainwash myself with. That being said, <laughs> moving on. Uh, so this is how I start my reflection, uh, my daily reflection. I, I know that there are a lot of people interested in journalism, so that's why I, I found a lot of content about journaling. So I said, why don't I start with this? After all, the daily vlog is just... Um, the log that I would do on my journal done on video. So I'm not going to read what I'm writing on my journal, but I, I'm going to try to share the most uh, valuable things uh, that I came across throughout this day, throughout today. Let me put the laptop under charge. Now we are charging. Awesome. So we talked about why I want to vlog. We talked about uh, how I uh, reflect on my day. Uh, we read Abraham quotes, and every day among the habits that I have, I, this is the third take of this vlog. In, Ital in Italian, yesterday I did it like very fluidly, but uh, as challenged as I am by speaking in English, this is my third take. So I honestly don't remember what I said in the two takes that are not going to appear, and this one. So uh, I I'll do my best. But anyhow, what I read today is the third time that I'm reading The Power of Now by Eckhart Tolle, I'm missing the dust cover, is that in the, in the drawer? Um, for the third time in English, and I read it twice in Italian, and it's awesome. I can't recommend it enough. Very powerful book, very important book uh, for anybody who's interested in personal development, in spiritual development, so great book. Um, oftentimes, when I read a book, I always think, man, I can't wait to create content around this book. I can't wait to share the knowledge about this book. I started to do it through Facebook by just writing, but nobody reads these days, or very few people read. So I figure I'm gonna have to start by doing it through videos, but uh, it's not that easy, but I had to throw myself out there, so here I am. And when I read this book, I can't wait to share the content in it, but it's one of those books that I always, that I also think, man, it's gonna be tough to talk about what's the content of this book, because uh, it, it, it's tough, it's tough, and it's difficult to do it better than Eckhart Tolle, for sure, although Eckhart Tolle is very digestible to read, but it's not that enjoyable, at least to me, to listen to. I mean, you can see this energy, I'm struggling to keep it down when I'm talking about something that I am really passionate about, so let's breathe and relax. And uh, I really enjoy Jim Rohn's way of communicating, but Eckhart Tolle's way of communicating is really calm and quiet. And it really puts me to sleep. So I tried, I tried, but it just doesn't hit the spot. So I try to read at least an hour a day, every day. I don't do it oh, oh, always. I don't do it every time. I sent, did, today I did 45 minutes, but hey, 45 minutes is better than nothing. Also because now my parents are here from Italy and I haven't seen them uh, since February. And I'm doing my monthly checkpoint and I recorded today an interview with my grandpa uh, who's 89 years old. Can you imagine how much wisdom and experience there is in that man? So um, I had to do other things and then I got to work, of course, like everybody else. So um, I only accumulated 45 minutes of uh, reading. Then we went out bowling. Um, because my parents, for them, it's a vacation to be here visiting us. And um, yeah, so a bunch of stuff and I'm doing what I can. So today, oh, I missed the 60 minutes, the effectively 60 minutes of reading. But today I did read this uh, part of the book where it talks about compassion. And I wanted to share this with you guys. So um, compassion is the awareness of a deep bond between yourself and all creatures. Tanta roba. Tanta roba is like, oh, this is awesome. Yeah, a lot of stuff. Uh, there is a lot of mm, there is a lot of value in it. But there are two sides to compassion, two sides to this bond. One, no, sorry. On the one hand, since you're still here as a physical body, you share the vulnerability and the mortality of your physical form with every other human and with every living being. And then he goes on, so next time do this, then, then, mm, 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 mm. and then what else? 
one of the most powerful spiritual practices, of course, you gotta read the book, I can't just, but this, this is what got me today. One of the most powerful, one, slowly, slowly, man. Already your accent is tough, so slow it down, slow it down. You gotta be aware of yourself. So, one of the most powerful spiritual practices in the medit in the is to meditate deeply, man. Can you do it? Yes, I'm trying. <laughs> God loves you. I'm trying. One of the most powerful spiritual practices is to meditate deeply on the mortality of physical forms, including your own. This is called die before you die. Go into it deeply. Your physical form it is, is dissolving, is no more. Then a moment comes when all mind forms or thoughts also die, yet you're still there. The divine presence that you are, that is the part that is still there. Because we're infinite, you know, where the universe experiences itself subjectively. Abra not Abraham Hicks, Bill Hicks, which was a stand-up comedian, but, you know, awesome. Radiant, fully awake. Nothing that was real, nothing that was real ever died. Only names, forms, and illusions. Now, this seems a bit strange, because when I first read this, nothing that was really, nothing that was real ever died, it reminded me of um, Game of Thrones, you know, the guys that says, oh, what is that, may I never die? Yeah, but, you know, there is nothing that was real ever died, only names, form, and illusions. It's like if this face that you see, Elia, the Italian guy, is only, um, is the universe experiencing itself through Elias as a t-shirt. Once I'm, my physical body is gone, uh, the universe, the energy will just change shapes and form, but the energy will still be out there. Just this body, this t-shirt that you see as Elia will no longer be moving around this earth. But it's pretty awesome. This is awesome stuff. So this is one of the reasons why I started to create the channel, to share, to share, to share. And then I started to talk about soccer. I gather much more interest through that and i got uh, sidetracked but i am back <laughs> now for now at least i mean i'm doing uh, what i can and uh, i love to talk about soccer and we do a lot of lives actually because i've been able to do a lot of lives around soccer and around um, you know, chats that we recorded with other, with other fans with journalists i was able to uh, gather the, excuse me, I'm recording after dinner after all, uh, to gather the experience, the confidence to do what I'm doing here, today, tonight, right now. So it's all a process, it's all part of the process, it's the never-ending journey of personal development. So here we are. Um, we have a lot of uh, ideas, like everybody else, we actually recorded, today I recorded with Grandpa for um, an Italian playlist where he's going to be sharing, I'm always talking about timeless values, um, a society that's evolving and evolution is not always progress or even better, progress, the passing of time is not always evolution. It's up to us to make the passing of time valuable and improve ourselves and the society we're part of. You know, like Gandhi says, um, be the change you want to see in the world. And so I recorded with Grandpa. It was one of the ideas that I had to tap into his knowledge, into his wisdom, his experience. But I also have already recorded with a dear friend of mine, uh, Peter Fortunato, who is a mentor in the real estate um, field, uh, is a teacher uh, who won uh, the Ronnie Award. So, speaking of Jim Ron, he won, uh, together with John Schaub, the Ronnie Award for uh, Excellence in uh, Teaching Real Estate. And there are students that are coming to his classes, oftentimes here in the Tampa Bay area, or uh, sometime in California, or in Georgia, from all over the United States. And I have the luxury, uh, the, the, the uh, il privilegio, the privilege, to consider him and to call him a friend. And I had the chance to record with him a nice chat, nice because of the content. It wasn't that great as far as audio and uh, visual, because um, I don't want to have to regret of not doing things, but I do things when they are less than perfect. So take 
what is another good quote that it says take imperfect action so <laughs> here you have it i take a lot of action and um, perfection anyway is unreachable so so anyhow uh, We've already recorded an, an hour and a half chat with Peter Fortunato because I am in real estate. That's how I make a living. And um, it should be on the channel uh, soon. Soon. Uh, soon means nothing. When? When? I don't know. I don't know because now we're dealing uh, with a vacancy and uh, we'll have to start to rehab the property as soon as we can, but we don't know when we're going to repossess it because we, we're going through our very first uh, uh, eviction um, and so we'll, we'll see, but I'm doing the best I can, as you can tell, and um, in the fastest way possible, as Jim Rohn says, life is about making measurable progress in measurable time, or measurable progress in reasonable time, probably it was this way, life is about making measurable progress in reasonable time, and I'm doing what I can, as you can tell, so guys, for today's vlog, that's it, I appreciate you dedicating your uh, very valuable time to this content. I encourage you to let me know through feedbacks um, what you think about today's vlog and how you think I could uh, improve and uh, engage in conversations about books, content. I have a bunch of books that I started behind me. Uh, the Richest Man in Babylon, the playlist is going on on the channel, but the Tools of Titans... Uh, um, the real book of real estate, and these are only the books that I'm currently reading. Uh, there are, you know, many others that I read and many others that I want to read. I have a to-do read that in that's infinite. So anyhow, um, I'll see you on the next uh, log tomorrow. There will be the third log of the vlog, and it will be in Italian. And then the following day, we'll be back in English. Thank you very much for your time, because I know how valuable time is, uh, meaning that, you know, you can have more money, but you can't have more time. That's what Jim Rohn says. So, um, actually, what Jim Rohn used to say, because Jim Rohn exhausted his, ti exhausted his time. Uh, and uh, so, thank you very much. Again, Happy New Year. And uh, I wish you and uh, your families a lot of uh, health, uh, happiness, and prosperity for the new 2024 just started and the many years to come. Thank you very much. I'll see you in the next one. This video has been brought to you by us at Real Estate Helpful Solutions. We buy houses helping people. To find out more about how we can be of help, text or call us at 727-366-6916 or send us an email at the email address you see in the photo.